Okay, let's bring in Xu Jianpeng, who's a senior research fellow at the Center of Policy Studies at Victoria University. I appreciate you coming on. Um, I mean, the most obvious question, first of all, is why are people having less children? Oh, yeah. Um, so uh, I think there are many factors uh, behind this. Uh, uh, for example, um, uh, increasing living cost um, and also a very expensive education cost, like in uh, East Asian country, parents always put a high, pr uh, high expectation on their children. So that's why they put a lot of uh, investment on children's education, but education costs are increasing very fast. And also uh, we have this uh, increasing um, marriage age and also also declining um, a marriage um, marriage rate, and also and uh, women are have increasing um, uh, high education enrollment. Uh, so all those factors have uh, um, yeah contributed to this fertility, uh, fertility decline. Um, yes, there are some people who be watching this and thinking, great, the world's massively overpopulated. This is a good thing, but. As I, as I previously mentioned, there are consequences, aren't they? Certainly for individual nations in terms of workforce. How does this affect countries economically and perhaps also socially? Yeah, I think this is a very good question. And uh, the declining um, uh, population, you know, cause a lot of uh, concern around the world, and uh, especially like China, uh, South Korea, and uh, Japan, like you mentioned. And uh, uh, why is this, uh, why is, uh, why people are concerned about this? Because first, uh, if we have the uh, declining um, um, population, which also accompanied by the declining labor force. This will um, definitely, uh, first, uh, your labor force decline means def uh, directly means a slow economic growth because the labor force is one of the production factor to produce the uh, products. You know, if we have the declining labor force means the economic will slow down. And secondly, uh, if we are declining labor force, we also increase the labor cost. This, this will push a lot of uh, uh, low margin and uh, labor intensive manufacturing move out of other countries such as uh, labor uh, you know labor uh, rich country like india or pakistan uh, you know all those kind of countries and for an, another um, effect negative effect on the economy uh, if we have this declining population is the declining population all, also accompanied by the population aging now we can say uh, these countries is uh, elderly population become more. So this means the government have to reallocate these productive factors to um, to the aged care service, health service, and medical service to meet the, uh, de meet the demand for the increasing elderly population. And also means that more people will get mm -hmm. retired. And this also put a high pressure on the pension system and always um, means uh, the pension economy may be become deficit. So this also put a high um, a challenge for the government. So that's why a lot of negative effect may happen for the economic growth. Okay, appreciate you coming on. Xu Jinping, my guest, Senior Research Fellow at the Center of Policy Studies at Victoria University.